So for this question, this is actually remainder concept. So we're going to use the remainder concept model. And also there's a total value included in this question because we see money included. All right. So if you can see the first line, Joanna had four over seven of her pencils left after selling 567 of them. Them here refers to the pencils at 70 cents each. Okay. She sold two over three of the remainder at 30 cents each. Okay. So how much? How much means the total money that she's going to get from the sale of the pencils? All right. So if you look at the first fraction, you look at the first fraction, 4 over 7. So this one, we pluck it out. We're going to rewrite over here, 4 over 7. You know that fractions in its simplest form is already in its units form. So I have 4 units and I have 7 units, okay? So these 4 units and 7 units, what does it represent? The 7 unit, as usual, is my total. Total what? Total pencils. Total pencils that I have at first, okay? And then the four unit is what she have left. Many students get very confused. They thought that the four unit is those that they sold, okay? For this question, it's a very, um, it's different. They tabulate the thing. Instead of what they sold at first, they give you the leftover first. That's the difference, okay? So this is what was left. After selling... Five, six, seven of them. Okay. So now I want to draw my model. I will draw my model of seven parts. Okay. So I will draw my model of seven parts because the total is seven units. Can you see? The total is seven units. So I draw seven parts first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Then I am going to identify where is the uh, sold, right? Where's the sold? The sold part is the what that I do not know. This one. How many units is this? I want to find out. How do I find out? I can find out via this fraction, okay? Since my total pencil is seven units and I have four units left, if I minus them, I will get those that were sold, right? So, which means the sold will be three units. One, two, three. These were sold. What do you mean by sold? Sold at 70 cents, okay? Sold at 70 cents each. And then how many of them do I have? Five, six, seven. Okay, I put in all my information there. Which means if that is the one that was sold, then here will be my remainder. How many remainder do I have over here? One, two, three, four. I have four units of remainder. Okay, so I can erase the ticks. Now, we are not done yet. So if you look at the next fraction, okay, the two over three, the fraction. 2 over 3. I have 2 over 3 units, units. They mention here, they mention here that she sold 2 over 3 of the remainder. Okay, so I want to know from, from the fraction where is the remainder and where is those that I sold at 30 cents. Okay, so if you look at the, the word again, 2 over 3 of the remainder. So, which means the first number 2 is the sole. The number 3 is the remainder. So, over here, this is my sole. And this is my remainder. Okay, get it? Huh? So, if you look at this 2, my remainder is 3 units. Remainder. Over here, my remainder is... Four units. If you look at the remainder, 
they are talking about the same thing. However, they are not the same. Okay. What must you do? You have to make the remainder because it's the same thing. They're talking about the same remainder. The same. Okay. So times four. Here times three. So here times four equals to eight over twelve unit unit. Okay. So over here is 12 units. So which means each of these parts, I need to times 3, times 3, times 3. Okay? So what are we going to do with that? I'm not going to just put times 3 like that. I have to do something. I am going to cut it up. Okay, I'm going to cut it up. Okay, I'm going to use a different color to cut up. So each of the parts, I'm going to cut it up into three equal parts. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So since I cut up the remainder, the rest of the model, which is the soap part here, must also be cut into three parts each because they belong to the same total pencil model. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So if you look at this, the soap at 70 cents is nine units. Okay, now I can actually shade how many pencils that were sold at 30 cents. Okay, so how many? Eight. So I shade eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These were sold at 30 cents each. Okay, so and it is how many units? It is eight units. So over here, I know that this whole nine units that were sold at 70 cents is five, six, seven pencils, okay? So what I can do is I can find out nine unit is five, six, seven pencils. One unit is five, six, seven divided by nine. And that will give me 63. I need to find this one first. How many pencils were sold at 30 cents, which is eight units? So 63 times 8 equals to 504. So I know that over here, I have 504 pencils that were sold at 30 cents. So now I need to find how much, right? Total amount of money that she get from the sale. Okay. So for these 567 pencils, easy lah. 567 times 0 0.70. Okay. And you are going to get... Um, the 396.90 cents. All right. For this one, you are going to take 504 times 0 0.30 and you will get 151.20. Okay. To find the total, what do I do? To find the total, this amount and this amount, I add together. So, total... Uh, amount of money will be 396.90 plus 151.20 equals to 548.10. Okay, in case for those of you who are not sure how come and why do I do this? Why do I do this? The why is here. So I know that one pencil is 30 cents and I have 504 pencils so what do I do 504 times 0 0.30 okay and I get 15120 this is the why I do that step all right clear okay so this is remainder concept okay this is the remainder concept model and the rest of it is the total value okay